So a couple things. I asked you guys to find the axis of symmetry, right? So the axis symmetry. Ladies and gentlemen, you should remember that the axis symmetry is just x equals h. That's it. It's x minus h. So therefore, it's x minus 1. So therefore, this equation is x equals negative 1. Remember, the axis symmetry, ladies and gentlemen, is a line. It's not a number. It's not a point. It's a line that the graph is symmetrical about. And not only that, it's a vertical line. To represent a vertical line, you need to use x equals. That's how you graph a vertical line. So the axis symmetry is x equals negative 1. The next thing. The next thing is a vertex. If you guys remember, the equation for the vertex was h comma k. So if, a, if h is negative 1, then we just need to figure out k, which is 3. Yes? Um, was that, wait, wasn't it something like um, x would be positive 1 because, yeah, because the equation yeah. is x minus h? Oh, yeah, no, wait. Yes, yes, yeah, um, sorry. Thank you. I am sorry. I am sorry. Yes. Let me go and re-explain. My apologies. You have x minus h. Think about it this way. x minus the value h, right? So in reality, what is my value of h here? Positive 1, right? I apologize. I got myself, I just started talking and didn't sit down and think about what I was saying. Yes, it is positive 1. Thank you. So therefore, your vertex is positive 1. If you guys remember, h was always like the opposite, right, that we talked about. So yes, thank you. It is positive 1. My mistake. So now the transformations, vertical transformation, is how are we shifting the graph then? If the vertex is at 1, 3, how did the graph change? Well, I, you don't need to graph the equation, but you guys should remember y equals x squared look like this. Correct? So if that graph looks like that, remember this was the vertex, right? The vertex was at 0, 0 for the parent graph. So if I'm saying the vertex is now at 1, 3, how did the graph move up or down? It went um, shifted up 3 units. The horizontal transformation is just going to be your horizontal shift. How did the graph move left or right? It moved one unit to the, yes, Christian? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, those are connected, right? And I, I, yes, you could just say that they're k units or h units, right? Uh, the next one, which was? Compression and stretching. So if you guys remember, compression and stretching was the absolute value of A is less than 1, or the absolute value of A was greater than 1. So if you guys remember, A told us if the graph opens up or down. In reality, and more mathematically speaking, it tells us is there, if there's a reflection over the x-axis or not. Right? We know that this is negative, so we know that the graph does not open up, but rather the graph opens down. right? OK, but the negative has nothing to do with the compression or stretching. Because it, the compression or stretching has to do with absolute value of A. So we look at the absolute value of A, which in this case is negative 1 half. So the absolute value of negative 1 half is 1 half. 1 half is less than 1. So we need to understand, does that, let's just think about this horizontally. Does that compress it horizontally or stretch it horizontally? When it's 1 half. This is going to be compress. I'm sorry. Well, you could say horizontally it stretches horizontally a factor of 1 half. Or you could say that it um, compresses a factor. You could say it compresses a factor of 1 half vertically. So it either compresses vertically or stretches horizontally. It's the same thing. Okay? If A was greater than 1, like in your, in your other problem,
that's greater than one, right? So that compresses it horizontally or stretches it vertically. Okay? The exact opposite depending on what A is. The last one is domain or range. Domain. If you guys look at these graphs, it doesn't matter if the graph opens up or opens down. What is happening as I keep on going higher and higher or lower and lower? The graph does what? It keeps on expanding, right? So the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. It's going to continue going left to infinity. It's going to continue going right to infinity. However, the range deals with the y coordinates. The range is dealing with how low does the graph go, right? To compare to how high does the graph go. So we say how low, if this is the purple graph represents a sketch of this equation, how low does this graph go? Yes, Leo? Negative 50. Is that contained? No, it's not contained. So we just use a parenthesis. What I mean by contained is, is that on the graph? Is negative infinity a point on the graph? No, it's not a point on the graph. Okay. However, how high does it go, Raphael? 3, which is the same point on the vertex. Hint, hint. That's the maximum point. Hint, hint. Is 3 a, actually a point on the graph, though? Yes, so it's what we call contained. So we use a bracket. Okay.